witches and wizards and welcome one more time to Medicina Isidarum. Today, while I do some upgrades in my altar and show you a little bit of the activities I do in my routine, I would also like to share with you some of the thoughts and the processes that I go through while I do stuff in my altar. So as I perform certain activities. I also have certain thoughts and th certain ideas. And I wanted to tell you a little bit how I've been feeling this past time uh, in hopes that if it resonates with you, you could feel better about yourself uh, and you can move on uh, with your emotions and your experiences in your life in this early springtime. In this month of March and with the coming back of spring and coming back to life of nature, I actually have been experiencing a little bit of darker thoughts, low emotions. I even had some raw dreams and nightmares um, and I started to wonder what is bringing this back into my life in this time of revival and reinsurgence where everything, you know, the, the dark, cold days seem to be over and nature is starting to heal and come back. So I was thinking, why am I out of sync with this season? Why am I feeling like I feel in Samhain, maybe at the start of winter, where you feel that things go deep into the darkness uh, and you start doing shadow work and all of that. Um, but this, instead of being shadow work, it started coming as just a manifestation of internal turmoil, let's say. So I reflected that I might be having this refloating of dark emotions and dark thoughts, including um, remembering things from the past and maybe mourning them because the spring is actually born from the rot, the darkness of the winter. What was buried is actually coming out of the ground like a seed in its shoot. This psychologically is a very powerful thing. I think the spring is time to dig up and turn things into something new, compost them. In part, it reminds me a bit of uh, a part of a book that I've been reading, which is called Blood and Bones, uh, when the author tells about acquiring animal bones and the process of acquiring parts from an animal that is deceased. Um, spring is the step when after waiting for the decomposition that happens underground, you dig up the bones to make something pretty out of them, to cleanse them. And oh my God, is this the grimmest part of the process where you have to open a grave and revisit an animal that has been devoured by the underground forces and you have to dig up those bones and get to clean them. So there is a tinge of darkness and difficulty to spring and a flavor of transformation. And it's the first time I have ever noticed that. Things from the dead, the buried, the unseen come to our consciousness in this season. And it's time to do a spring cleanse, meaning getting rid of thoughts and emotions that have paid their dues and do something with the materials left behind. It is time for work after the long rest of the winter. I also related this with the upcoming eclipse, which is happening on the 25th of March, but there was still a few days uh, for it when I, I had these thoughts. But again, the eclipse is this theme of bringing the darkness back into focus. 
So it is possible that you feel like this in this season, and particularly this year, when we are having this powerful eclipse on the 25th of March, um, that you feel a little down and that you feel that you're revisiting things that you thought were closed off in the past. But this is what eclipses are for. So it helped me a lot to reflect about this and to understand that this could be uh, the reason why I'm feeling like this. So if you feel that things from the past are coming back to you in this season, always recommend it to journal, to think about it, to write down your dreams and reflect on them so that you can understand what needs to be revisited, what needs to be healed, what needs to be transformed into something useful for you today. Like digging out bones from the dirt to transform them into a, an ally for your practice. So what can you do with these feelings, these emotions and these thoughts that are coming into surface and how can they serve you to grow? And once again, thank you very much for following me into this reflection and this adventure. And I hope that it means something to your path and to what you're going through in your practice and encourages you to follow through, to continue growing, to continue learning from yourself. See you next time. Thanks for watching.